Well, first of all, I looked outside to see this this morning. That is my guttering. Uh, it's apparently fallen down from there. So, that's nice. Uh, I'm pretty sure the water... Oh, look, there's even a piece down there. Sweet! Yes, this is me doing, uh, rubbing my nose, because it's itchy. I was watching a video today on YouTube, and I happened to look over just to see that. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? I couldn't tell, because we had a pretty bad storm last night, so that's probably what did it. That thing right there. That thing right there. Psst. Hi, what are you doing? He has been cuddled with me, like, ever since I got back. Uh, I was trying to sit here in this chair doing something. Him and Buffy, actually. So Buffy will probably jump up here. Let me just kick up my legs. Uh, I'm actually working on putting together the Getting There video today. Uh, that's what's rendering right now. Um, it just got started, so it's only 2% complete. I'm very happy, very happy to be back on my own camera. Uh, I thank Nick for allowing me to use his camera, uh, because this one was being used for the behind the scenes for his movie. Uh, all the settings were all set up, so that way everything can look the same, you know. Um, when we put together the back behind the scenes stuff, it doesn't, you know, the quality doesn't go up or down. It can all be on the same thing. Um, and he's decided he wants to sit out there instead, so whatever. And I'm looking, I'm looking prettier. Uh, I, I think it was about, it was almost three weeks without shaving because between um, doing the part of the bum in Nick's movie and um, being at Bonnaroo, I hadn't really had a chance. And then I got back. You might be, my voice might crack a little bit, might sound a little bit weird. I had like a huge attack of my allergies when I got back. I'm glad it didn't happen at Bonnaroo. Um, but oh my god, I've had like, there's like sinus pressure and it was, Wednesday was terrible. Wednesday was, was really, like, I, um, I, I think I ended up sleeping, like, all day Wednesday, and then all day, like, Wednesday night, so, um, <clears throat> it's still, it's still in there a little bit. It ended up, I got, I got back from vacation, I ended up calling in, because I just, I just felt terrible, you know, and of course, as I discussed in the video that I'm getting ready to upload, um, you know, I'd already been working like crap anyway, and I'm like, they had noticed, and they were not they were not excited about it. So I'm like, you know, I probably shouldn't go to work feeling like crap because then I'm only going to get in more trouble because I'm still not working up to snuff. Whatever, blah blah blah, whole nother issue. Actually, uh, on added in to what the two issues that I talked about at the beginning of that. <laughs> Uh, which I hadn't even mentioned yet, I did mention a, a whirlwind of shit that poor Mark got caught up in. Um, <clears throat> there was an issue with, instead of paying off um, quick cash last time, I just let them cash my check for me. And apparently because that caused a whole bunch of problems, because... Oh, because they had to make sure that the check had went through, that the check wasn't going to come back on them, and all this other stuff. So, yeah, we ended up... I, I'm really sorry, Mark. I'm really sorry, Mark. And Cole, because we got down to Cole later than we meant to. Oh, my God. I don't know what was wrong with that day. But at least it ended on a good note. And it's been good ever since. So tomorrow, tomorrow's what's really going to be bad, because I have to go back to work. So... <laughs> That's the part that I'm really not looking forward to, but <clears throat> at least, uh, at least I'm, you know, I've had my, my, my good little excursion, you know, I've, I've had my Bonnaroo experience and, uh, my, my allergies are getting back in check now. So, uh, pretty much it took that one day, Wednesday, and then it was, uh, other than, you know, in my throat or whatever, um, it was better. The first thing that, uh, I, I guess I should really do just to to finally end Bonnaroo is I, I've been wearing this thing because I wanted to do it on camera. I wanted to take it off on camera. Um, <laughs> so um, it's it's Saturday now, so and I got back last Monday. So I, I've been wearing it for almost an extra week because I've been wanting to do it on camera. Uh, I'm assuming you just pop this thing off. I don't know. I've never done this before. This might be this might be uh, devastating or hard to do with one with one hand. You're gonna see it happen live. I hope. 
Well, damn it. I'm I'm it's smarter than me. That's the problem. You've got to be smarter than the than the wristband and I am not smarter than the wristband. Oh shit. I don't want to rip it. Well, that's interesting. Uh maybe if I pull from here. Maybe if I pull from here, that'll that'll be better and it'll pop off. <laughs> or maybe not. Um trying to do this to make sure that it gets on camera too is not really helping anything but err uh, err uh. okay let me let me let me try to pop it from here but i was glad we got the girl that bent it over like this because i saw some people with them sticking out the whole weekend and that would have annoyed the crap out of me but like once they were on they were supposed to stay on so ugh, for crap's sake jesus maybe i'll get this off on camera and maybe i won't Okay, okay, what's going on? Maybe you're supposed to have someone else do this for you. <laughs> I, I promised to edit this video so that, um, um, you won't have to sit here and watch all of me trying to take this thing off. Maybe I'm supposed to have somebody else do that. I don't know. I haven't I haven't tried to take it off before today, obviously, and trying to do it where it's on friggin' camera is not good, I guess, I suppose. Um, <laughs> maybe if I flip it over and pop it out. Ow, shit. Maybe it helps if I have fingernails. Oh, good God, I need a tutorial on how to get my band off. This should come with instructions. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn, do you push on the little middle thing and then pull? Good God. Well, before this becomes... Look, here comes the buff. Here comes buff. Hello, buff. Hello. Want to help me get my, uh... Get my thing off here? My God. Shouldn't it just pop off? The hell? My god, you're going to see this pop off and smack me in the face is what's about to happen. I don't want to rip it, but, I mean, maybe that's what you do. Maybe you rip it. Grip it and rip it, maybe? I don't know. Christ. I don't... You're going to hear a lot of Buffy purring. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, I guess I won't um, get this off on camera. I don't know. <laughs> it's not looking like it. It's not looking like it. Um, can you just slip it off your wrist? I don't, I don't know. I really, maybe you cut it. Maybe if I just, my wrist is too fat. Maybe if I pull in, maybe if I pull in my thumb here and do some weird wacky ass, wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man thing, uh, this might happen. For Christ's sake. It's slowly but surely. Ah, uh, I don't really want to break my thumb to get this off of here, so maybe I'll just, um, maybe I'll just work, maybe I'll just work on that as I speak to you people, and then see, um, see what happens. <laughs> First off, I would like to say that I never want to hear another mic check in my life! Sorry about that. You may or may not ever see that. I don't know. I might clip it out depending on how long this is. But uh, yeah, I never I never want to hear another mic check in my entire life. I swear. I've heard uh, plenty, plenty to keep me interested. Keep me entertained for a while. It was a lot of fun, I'm gonna say. Uh, I wasn't really sure going... Well, Mark warned us going down. He's like, you know, there's, there's not really any... Sh well, there are showers, but they cost like seven bucks to take a shower. So I'm like, eh. So I knew I was going to be, you know, pretty much dirty the whole time, uh, which didn't really, you know, didn't really bother me. I mean, I like to take a shower every day, but I went into this knowing that I was going to just be dirty and nasty for most of it. Uh, and it actually, most of the time, the weather wasn't that bad. It um, There was a nice cool breeze blowing. Um, there was that one day, um, it was the second day we were there, I think. We were at the at the witch stage all day. So, um, we were out in the sun for most of the day, and, uh, 
I mean, you know, you just you have your your hydro 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 packs, blah blah blah. We had our little little fans with a little ch -ch, you know spritz thing on it. So, I mean, the the heat wasn't a wasn't a a big big issue really. It, it definitely was nice when the sun went down for sure. Uh, <laughs> we didn't really see the biggest band, the biggest artist that I would have seen would have been Alison Krauss. Um, Mark and Cole didn't. Uh, they they were sitting somewhere toward the back for that. Um, and, uh, they, they got into a bunch of dust, so they went ahead and went back to, I almost didn't go to the Allison Krauss show because we had seen, uh, they were doing, um, some kind of international artists, uh, that was the day that we saw, um, oh crap, what was the, the Asian guys, uh, Hungai and Foro in the Dark, and they, they were both really good, very entertaining shows, um, and it kind of got, you know, I, I was kind of interested to see what was coming next on that stage because it's just, you know, they were doing international things. I think the next guy was French or something. Um, but it sounds like I made the correct choice because Mark and Cole went back to because there, there was a huge problem with dust this year. I mean, I don't know. Um, I, I've, I've seen some people say that, you know, they're, they're used to them like um, watering down the down the, you know, the walkways and stuff so that they don't kick up dust, because all it took was people walking around and it was super dusty. So uh, Mark and Cole went back to that stage, but they said that whatever whatever the next show was wasn't that great. So I'm glad I went and saw Alison Krauss. That was basically the only thing I went and did off by myself. Uh, the sweet tea down there was amazing. Loved it. Uh, I'll never pay $10 for a crepe ever again. Uh, it was good, but not $10 good definitely not ten dollars good the the best deal down there uh cole became a fan of wieners down there as did uh oh gosh i had a couple but i guess for the most part i uh I, you know i i i figure i'm gonna eat the good stuff you know I, like i had a uh pulled pork uh pulled pork barbecue thing which wasn't that good unfortunately um <laughs> I don't know. I'm more of a fan of when they put the uh, the pulled pork or you know, when, when the, the barbecue sauce. I'm just not going to get that. Oh, my God. I've been working on it this whole fucking time. I'm more a fan of when it comes out with, you know, when you cook it with, you know, in the sauce. And this one, they cook the pulled pork, put it on a bun, and then you put on your own sauce, which I ended up squirting all over my hand and a little bit into my sweet tea. Um <laughs> what was something else uh, the there was oh gosh where did i get that there was a pulled pork panini that i had for breakfast one day which was amazing i did that was definitely i think i paid like six bucks for that but that was definitely definitely worth the money for that it was kind of like a it was kind of like a grilled cheese with pulled pork in it it was amazing it was amazing um like the sweet tea was good i didn't i don't even know if i got a chance to try the lemonade um the fresh squeezed lemonade which was probably you know Minute made with some lemon squeezed into it to make it taste a little bit more fresh. How the fuck do I do this? I need a freaking. I can't get it. Is there some special tool that I need? Oh my god. Uh, anyway. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I cut it. I should text Mark and be like, how do you get your wristband off? <laughs> I need my expert because Mark was Mark was our five year um, five year veteran of going to Bonnaroo, so he you know he knew all the ins and outs and stuff, and he made sure to get us in there um, early, you know, because if you don't get in early, then you know you got a bunch of crowds and stuff, and we um, we didn't we never had to wait to fill up our water or anything for too long because you know they're just a lot of people party late into the night, so if you get up and we were in there by usually nine or ten every day and then we were you know we got food and then we waited around um for stuff uh, you know just kind of waited around i mean that's that's what you do next year um two things that if i go again i think what i might do is for one thing get a cushion for when i'm sitting on the ground that'll make it five minutes fuck you that'll make it a lot easier um to, you know, a, a lot more comfortable because it's kind of like Cole said that one day. It was like when he sat down, his ass hurt, and when he stood up, his feet hurt. So sitting down would be nice to have some kind of cushion. And I don't know, maybe like a book or something, you know. I don't know, I'm not much of a reader, but <laughs> I'm lazy. But, uh, you know, something to do to pass the time while you're waiting 
for these shows to start. You know, that would be good. What? What do you want? What? I only have five minutes. This is actually filled up with, uh, with back to behind the scenes stuff from Nick's movie. So I still didn't get it off. I didn't get <laughs> He seems confused by that. Whoop. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not petting him. That's the, that's the issue. I'm not petting him. That's the issue. Sorry, Bob. Sorry, buffs. Sorry, buffs. Now I'm petting you. But yeah, they've pretty much been, uh, been latchkeyed to me ever since I got home. So, see, he's happy to have me home. I've been home for a week, but this is, this is what I get. This is what I get. So, but yeah, all the shows, like Mark didn't steer me wrong on any of the music that I went to, uh, went to see. He's sneaking in. <laughs> <laughs> whatever dude but yeah uh, all the shows that I went to see were good they were good shows, good music uh, I enjoyed them all uh, I can't think of one that I didn't uh, didn't enjoy didn't have fun with um, We uh, during the Buffalo Springfield set uh, we almost got rained on uh, we got rained on a little bit actually it would have been nice you know, just kind of get cleaned off from all the dirt and stuff. We we took our little um, baby baby wipes um, um, baths at the end of the night, or you know, at the beginning of the day, or whatever. But uh, you know, I get, it helped. But uh, oh, it's telling me it's full up. Three minutes. Uh, maybe I guess it's giving me a warning. Uh, I guess I should mention this was my first year at Bonnaroo. I, that's Buffy's ass poking up there. Ta-da, Buffy's ass. Yeah, I, I'd never been before myself. I don't, I don't think Cole ever been before either, so this was his first time, but, um, I would definitely go back. Uh, it was, it was an enjoyable experience. It was, you know, it's kind of like I said, I expected to be hot and dirty and tired for a couple days, so it didn't really, didn't really bug me all that much, you know, um, and like I said, I think all in all we saw like 27 uh, concerts. So, I mean, we got, we got good show for, for the money paid out for it. His claws stuck. I have to save his life. I have to save his life. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be a while before this video's up. So if I think of anything else, I'll, 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 I'll splice it in. I have, uh, I bought a poster actually that, uh, I want to get a frame for and hang up. So I, I might put it in this video. I might not. I don't know. Um, I was actually about to pay the same amount for a shirt that I'd never wear. Uh, because when, you know, um, when I, when I buy keepsakes like this, like, you know, if I wear it, it gets, it, it I, I worry about it getting ruined and I'm like, I'd rather keep it as a keepsake than, uh, than, <laughs> you know, but it worked out. Um, because there was this poster for the same amount, and it's a pretty cool poster. Um, if I don't put it in this video, I'll put it in another video at some point when I hang it up. I'll make it a special little video, because uh, I want to get a... It got a little bit tore up, but that's okay. It got a little bent up, but I'll, I'll flatten it out or whatever. It'll look good. It'll look good. I got one minute, it tells me, so... Uh, my, my experiences, my special experiences, uh, I guess it's not really special. I got asked twice if I had drugs to sell, and of course I didn't. Unfortunately, I could have made some money. I got to see a, a well, um, uh, this, this is pretty normal, I guess, but, uh, I only saw it once. Um, there, uh, there was a lot of people on drugs, okay, obviously. Uh, and it was during the Prima show when this guy had a bad acid trip or something, a bad, sh actually shrooms. I remember his friends, uh, maybe acid and shrooms are the same thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a drug connoisseur. I don't know. Um, but he was like kind of not really fighting. He was on the ground and all the security people like came over and he was like, don't touch me, don't touch me. Blah, blah. So I don't know how many guys, um, it took to finally get him up and out of there, but they had to heft him up and over the thing and he was fighting the whole time. So, uh, Mark and Cole both got kicked or something in, uh, in that fray. But, uh, I, I was lucky enough to just get kind of shoved back against some people. So to kind of try to make room, but that was about, that was about it. I did, uh, actually, oh, what, I, um, 
blah, 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 blah. That was me mumbling a lot. Uh, gosh, what was the name of that show? Um, there's the one. And there's the other. <laughs> I told you. They have been hanging around. Okay, I think I only have like 10 minutes on here, so hopefully I don't fill that up. Um, I was supposed to do this all in one take, but unfortunately that did not happen. So, <laughs> uh, it was during the Ray LaMontagne show. Actually, well, he left during the Ray LaMontagne show, and then I don't know where he went, and then he came back uh, when it was almost over, so he may have been waiting for the band after that. But actually, um, at the stage we were at, there was like this walkway down the middle, and down the little middle walkway walked Ron Jeremy. Right? Like, right. And uh, I'll actually steal Mark's photo and put it... ...for you, so that you can um, see how close he was to us. That was the only... Uh, well, other than, <laughs> other than who was on stage, that was the only uh, famous people sighting that uh, that we had, at least in such a close close encounter. Um, and actually, probably the uh, the most talked about experience that will become a a joke between me and Mark and Cole for God knows how long. Um, we were sitting there. Uh, it was at night, and we were um, eating whatever food that we had just purchased. And there was this girl that like stopped, and uh, she was like, she said something about, oh, they always use that uh, that orange. It, it was like the orange construction stuff. Um, they they had it set up as a fence to like I guess fence in the the you know trailers and stuff. Um, not trailers. What well, you know what I mean? The RVs. And she said something about, oh, they always use those those that orange fence to cut off shadows or whatever. So she walked over behind me, her and her friend, and they were doing something. I didn't really know what. Um, but then she walked away. She's like, oh, wait, almost got it. And then she, like, messed with her, you know, her pants or whatever. And uh, actually, she might have been wearing a bikini. I don't know. She's like, okay, got it. And then they walked off. And, um, I didn't turn around because I didn't know what was going on back there and I didn't really need to know necessarily, but Mark and Cole were just laughing and apparently, um, she had shoved a pipe up her cooch to get it in the dark. <laughs> so all you ladies out there, that's how you get your pipe in, apparently. Clean it off before you use it, please, please. Oh my god, my arm. Can't, I can barely feel my arm now because it's got this big heavy thing on it. Yeah, when I got back, I couldn't tell what was tan and what was dirt, honestly. Um, but now I'm a little bit more clean, so I can tell the difference. I don't know how dark I was before I left, but uh, I've got a little, probably a little bit more color. I mean, you know, being out in the sun and stuff. Uh, but it was definitely, it was a fun time. It was... Um, you know, of course, I, I'm not much of a festival goer, music festival goer, but it was definitely unlike anything I had experienced before. Um, and, uh, but I mean, it was fun. It was a good time. It was, you know, definitely, it was, it was kind of funny coming back uh, as we were leaving because you could tell who had been to Bonnaroo because their cars were like all dusty and there was like a bunch of crap in them and people were like sleeping, you know. They were. They were, too. Don't look at me with such doubtful eyes. You weren't there. But I would, yeah, I would definitely uh, go again, you know, assuming everything worked out. Um, it, Cole sounds like he might be going back next year. Mark's not sure because he's, uh, you know, he's going to be graduating and starting the whole uh, job and family thing, so he's not sure if he's going to have the the time or the money to be able to do it. Like Buffy would. <laughs> Buffy would go have a good time. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know uh, 
much else to say about it. Um, if you see me in a different position or with a different shirt on, you'll know I thought of something else to, to add to this video before I got it uploaded. Um, the I, I've texted Mark to ask what the best way to, to get this off is. I kind of want to do it without cutting it, but I mean, if I have to, I have to. You know, I assume you could just pull the little tab and be done with it, but I guess not. The rendering of this... Thank you for that. Interruptus... and Perius, whatever, I don't know. Harry Potter people come up with something, 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 dark side. He's just too, he's just too lazy. He's a lazy ass. But I'll show you his trick though. <laughs> he's like, what is this? He woke up to that being in his face. bothering Buffy too. Ah, the camera's getting kind of hot. I have four minutes left because this is only a two gigabyte uh, thing, whereas the other thing that I was using is a 16. Um, goodbye. That's him falling on the shit that's on my floor. But the uh, video, the getting there video, is at 38%. Um, so that should be ready and possibly up by the end of the day. It is six o'clock, but I slept until like 2 p.m. today, so my sleeping has been a little bit off since I got back, but that's fine. I'll get it back on track when I have to go back to work tomorrow. So uh, here's to Bonnaroo tw 2010. I almost said 2010. 2011. It's Bonnaroo 10. Um, the one thing that I didn't like was there There was like a... a well, there had to be, though, because we went to see something else when Eminem was on. I didn't think there was anything at the same time Eminem was on. But there had to be, because we were at something. Maybe we were waiting in line for something. I don't know. But uh, that was not a show we were at, by the way. Maybe we were waiting in line for something, because it didn't look like on the little schedule that Mark had that uh, that there was anything opposing um, Eminem. Maybe I was looking at the schedule wrong, because it was like weird. I never really looked at it, looked at it, because it's just like, I figured, you know, I just, other than Alison Krauss, there wasn't really anything that I really, you know, like, had to go see, had to go see. Oh, I guess my favorite things were, uh, there was Hayes Carl, um, he was the first, he was the first, first concert I ever went to, um, he was a lot of fun, country band, and then, uh, Jack White's wife was next, and she was really good, um, I really should have looked at my list of what I saw. There'll, there'll be a list at the end here of the different... So, some of the bands we went to see and we saw the whole show. Some of them we just kind of sat outside and listened to for a little bit and then, uh, you know, moved on to something else or uh, so, something we caught the end of while we were waiting for something else. But um, there wasn't really, you know... I can't think of a show that I didn't like you know, but so, some of my more favorites were those. I have one minute again. That's sad. I, I liked all the shows. There wasn't anything that I hated, and I had fun. And uh, I think that's what it's all about. Okay, well apparently this is it. Mark said he tore his, so I'll just snip it. And there, it's done. I'll look at my there it is! Ta-da! And there's my my chip, my chip that I had for this, and it's still all clipped together from that. So it's my little keepsake. And uh, I'm going to enjoy some of my leftover Lamberts as uh, the cats. Buffy's already cleaned his out, and now he's waiting in line for Bright Eyes's. But uh, I think Bright Eyes is going to have that finished off before you get a chance at it, dude. Sorry.